All right, let's get a check of our forecast now. Dina, now that the uh, weekend is wrapping up, coming to an end, everyone's looking forward to the 4th of July. Yeah, and it looks like the temperatures are going to cool down just a little, so that's definitely some welcome news. It was a warm day. We hit 101 here in Salt Lake, but now it's cooled off to 87 degrees, 84 in Heber, and it's 82 in Brigham City. So cooling off tonight, clear skies all around, and turning out to be a pretty nice evening, although a little bit gusty with that cold front close by. So that's kind of an interesting graphic here you can see just barely these red arrows so these are what we call streamlines of wind and so we have the wind coming up from the south here and then the wind from the north so in between at this intersection that's actually where you would find the cold front and it's moving pretty slow but as that's been passing through this evening really gusty winds along with it some of our wind gusts as high as 45 miles per hour and we even had some wind gusts today at some of our high elevations at well over 60 miles per hour pretty impressive as this uh, system gets on moving by and with that creating five Fire weather conditions as well. A red flag warning here issued by the National Weather Service. Well, that goes until tomorrow because we have such hot and dry conditions really all around the state. So primo fire weather conditions. Currently, it's 87 degrees here in Salt Lake, 76 in Logan, and starting to cool off. So behind this in central Idaho, which we can't see on this map, it's actually temperatures are in the 60s. So we'll cool things down tonight. It'll be a lot cooler in the morning than it was this morning on Sunday. So that'll be a nice change. 96 there in St. George and you were up well at about 106 degrees earlier today. Definitely warm out there. 101 today here in Salt Lake City. Average is 90. We'll be more in line with these numbers going through the rest of the week here. Our record high, 103. So just two degrees shy of that. And look how warm it was this morning. Just too hot. So tomorrow morning, it'll be in the 60s. That's much better for all of our plants and grasses and everything out there. It's been a really warm June though. We had 18 days equal to or greater than 90 degrees in the month of June. Today's June 30th and normally your average is about seven. So that's pretty warm. We had four days at 100 or above an average summer here in Utah. So that's meteorologically June, July, August. An average summer has four days at 100 and we're already there. I hope that's not an omen of things to come, right? So we had clear skies for a lot of the state today and then we had some cloud cover start to build up with the passage of that cold front and then there's a little bit of energy associated with that and that'll brush through extreme northern Utah along the Idaho border overnight. So we may see some quick moving showers there early in the morning, but the chances for actual rain are still pretty slim, but there could be an isolated shower or two along this extreme, like really from Salt Lake northward, but we're not looking at a high chance of showers, but be on the lookout for that. And then in southern Utah, we still have a chance for some isolated thunderstorms too, so that's why you have a flood watch for some of those prone areas. So tomorrow will be in the 80s, 87 degrees, much better than today, 66 degrees for our overnight low, and only 102 in St. George. Looking closer up here, up to 76 in Park City tomorrow, so that'll be pretty comfortable for you. And central Utah, you've got temperatures mainly in the 80s. A few places still getting into the upper 90s like Green River and Moab tomorrow. 102 in St. George and 85 degrees in beautiful Torrey tomorrow afternoon. Should be a nice day over by Capitol Reef. Okay, St. George, you've got temperatures all week around 100. It's going to be really hot for the 4th of July, so plan accordingly, but very dry. Other than a couple of those isolated showers around, there's not much chance here for rain. So we're in the 80s for the next couple of days. Those are the coolest days of the week. We'll need to be tomorrow. That's Monday and Tuesday. And then for July 4th, we've got temperatures around between 85 and 90 is the going rate. And our overnight lows will be pretty comfortable, though, in the 60s. So it'll be nice and cool in the mornings. We'll toss it back to you guys.